Okay, folks, uh, so this is the classwork for the day. Uh, we are finding unit rates or constants of proportionality. And in this case, we have two different grocery stores. One is more for your money right here in the, oh, maybe you don't see my arrow, more for your money. And they sell pasta seven boxes for $6. And that's where we're gonna start our, our problem. So as we read our problem, uh, there's nothing really to calculate here. We're trying to answer this question. What information does Gus get from solving each proportion? So here we got to ask ourselves, okay, what it says each proportion. So that must mean there's more than one. So we have one proportion here. Oh, excuse me. And one here. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. I'm going to bring in um, this little sketching box over here. And let's write out that first proportion. Seven, six equals n over one. Now we got to figure out what is what is n. So from the problem, it says Gus makes a rate table. And above this problem, there's there's no rate table. So this basically tells us to take a look at this. So he made a rate table, we've got a rate table down here, and this rate table actually has the variables written out in it. So this is where we're gonna determine what N and C actually mean for our problem. And we figure out that N is number of boxes. So the way that helps us solve this proportion is that I asked students today to go ahead and label the proportion. So they're gonna rewrite it out of the book and then label it. So here N represents boxes. So then if we, if we write boxes up here as well, and remember from our problem, we get seven boxes for $6. So, so far this seems to fit. Boxes are in the numerator for both sides of the proportion. That's really important. We're comparing the same units in the same place. So then this is dollars. Well, what this does for us is tell us that on the right-hand side, what he's trying to calculate is the number of boxes per $1. And that answers the question. If we read this top to bottom, Gus is looking for the number of boxes per $1. Dollar. So that would then be the answer to this proportion. Gus is looking for the number of boxes per one hour. Not hour, goodness, dollar. For one dollar. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for the other proportion. All right, so pause it here if you need to write that down. For the other proportion, he has things seemingly written in reverse. We have six over seven equals a new variable over one. And again, going back to what C is, C is cost in dollars, cost in dollars. And that must mean that this is N for number of boxes. And this is N, which equals boxes. So specifically, if we read the right side of the proportion again, he is looking for the cost per one box. So Gus is looking for the cost of one box of pasta. All right. So basically what we found out is that Proportion one is finding the number of boxes per dollar. This proportion is finding the number of dollars for one box. So seemingly similar ideas, 
but really they're the inverse of each other. We're, we're trying to find the unit rate per box and then the unit rate per dollar. And then that helps us to answer question two. So how does that help us answer question two? We have to copy the rate table below and fill in the missing values. Rather than do that, I'm just going to make this nice and big. Okay. So how do we figure out the boxes per $1? Well, I believe that was the first ratio, right? The first ratio was seven boxes, so proportion, excuse me, seven boxes for $6. And that was gonna give us the number of boxes for $1, okay? Now, the way we solve this is just simplify both sides. N divided by one is just N. On the left-hand side, seven divided by six. So we break out a calculator, And we do seven divided by six equals 1.16. So in this case, I need to move this around a little bit. Seven divided by six is 1.16 repeating. And that is going to give us the number of boxes per $1. And that means if we have one dollar we can fill in this empty spot in our table we are going to get 1.16 boxes repeating a little bit more than one box and that makes sense especially once we figure out the next proportion so the next proportion is six over seven because we get six dollars for seven boxes and that equals the cost in dollars over one box so if i take six divided by seven I get 0.86 approximately, 0.86 approximately, and that gives me my cost in dollars per one box, all right? So then that tells me that if I have one box, I know the cost of that box, and the cost of that box is approximately 0.86 cents. And now things start to make sense. So if I'm buying boxes and they're a little bit less than a dollar a piece, and I buy seven of them, I should pay a little bit less than $7. Here, for a single dollar, I get a little bit more than one box. And that makes sense. For $6, I get a little bit more than six boxes worth of pasta. So here, if I spend a dollar on a box of pasta, uh, a box and a portion of pasta, I'm going to get a little bit more than one box. Again, if I spend $6, I'm going to get a little bit more than six boxes. Makes sense because each box is a little bit less than a dollar. So that is what we we're looking for in our classwork. That's not all that we did, but those are the first two problems and that should help with the homework. Uh, so that's what we did in class if you missed class today.